Well hello everybody and welcome back. So today we are going to be attempting to fix our 5th gear grind in our gearbox. Now our van is a 2005 Mark 1 Peugeot Boxer. Um, it is post facelift, uh, which got facelifted in 2002, but it's 2005 so it's the year before the Mark 2. So this is a very useful video for anyone who has the Mark 1 Peugeot Boxer because there's not a lot of videos on it. Um, so I think from what I heard these do have a little fault, a little problem where water seeps off of the windscreen down through into the engine bay and onto the breather pipe for the gearbox and then water seeps in through the breather pipe and into the gearbox and then mixes with your oil and uh, you'll see that when we bring the oil out it does look like it has some water in it um, anyway so they have another fault which is uh, the fifth gear does not get enough oil you need to put in a little bit extra I'm not sure on the number what it is but you need to fill it up um, because stated oil that you need in the gearboxes are not enough um, to lubricate fifth gear properly um, but we don't know for sure that's the problem but it's it's quite a fiddly job. It took us quite a long time just because we didn't have the correct tools. But I'm sure a lot of you might have the correct tools to do this yourself. And um, yeah, it's DIY. It's easy enough to do it yourself. All you've got to do is you've got to remove the air filter uh, completely, the housing and everything. Um, and then you can get to the little cap to fill it. And then we'll show you where the sump plug is to take the oil out. So yeah, let's get on with it. Right, so, when we put the van in 5th gear, and this started a little bit after we got it, um, which is good, you hear a grind, I can't do it now obviously. When you put it in 5th gear, it'll like that. Also, reverse is really hard to get into, you, no, first. First is really hard to get into, you always end up in it in reverse. Common fault with these vans is that the gearboxes don't have enough oil in them, you need to put 100mm or 200mm more oil in the gearbox for this to uh, stop the crunching because it doesn't get enough oil in fifth gear so what we have to do is we have to drain the gearbox oil but you get this oil filter right this air filter out of the way first and fill it up it's already causing a problem it's, yeah you see tape there I think someone's done this before This is screwed in, so I need to try and get to the back to get the other bits off. There's a couple of uh, screws that hold this. Um, hold on, the cover, cover lover. Have you heard of cover lovers? The cover of the air filter. Well, I can't see them out of my eyes, but they're very hard to get to. I can't. I don't know what I'm doing now. To take off this back one, you're going to need a drill, dr uh, screwdriver. Stubby one, stubble. Like this. Yeah. Just get in there. Just to yeah. get in there. Yeah, you got to pull it back. Are we talking about the filter? Yeah. God. It's as tight as a rabbit's. You haven't bought a new air filter? No. Mum told me not to. Oh, that's alright, we can wait, we can do that later this service. Oh, that's filthy. Yeah, it's been a while. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have to turn it round and use the top. That's not good news. I'm going to have to order one of them now. So, to remove the housing for the air filter, we have three 10mm nuts we have to take off. Um, but to get in there with a socket set, you're going to need a, a long extension like this. And uh, oh, our, know, our thing is too long, see? So now we need a short one of these as well. One eternity later. Show you what we'd have to had to do to get these. We've been here about 45 minutes trying to get these bolts out We've of the box. Every tool here possible. Show them on the floor. Yeah. Every type of spanner possible. But Josh has had to make one. I've literally hammered this thing, the little adapter that we found. If I can focus on it. I'm definitely going to order one. Literally hammered that into this 10mm. 
so it fits. Um, and this is a circle, this isn't even a square. But it's a 10 mil and we don't have another 10 mil. So see, you need loads of length to get in there. Yeah, that's that's what we needed. <laughs> 329, I'm definitely going to order some of them. Definitely going to order some of them and a 10 mil. Oh no, here we go. It's not man enough, is it? That is that the new battery or is this the new battery? I can't remember which one. Well, this is full. The, the, the nut is corroded on. I have put some. I got it. Yeah. I've put yeah. some lubricant on them. Of mm. course, the last bolt is corroded on, guys. So we can't get that off at the moment. Actually, we've managed to actually unbolt this. There's a jubilee clip here that sends air to the engine. So we've undone that. That jubilee clip there, and then it's off now. Might have to get the uh, fuse box. Put that clip off. Let's see, you need to push. To get it back on, you need to push this lip over here. Ooh. Okay, like that. Oh, yeah. Well, it's a tight one, isn't it? So that's oh, all. There is a special tool for this, I think. Yeah. Oil from that. You stop ripping my curtains. I don't mean to keep cooking. Your the effort is out. Out time. Sits on rubber, mate. What's all this here? Where's the gearbox? I know you just watch now because I can't see where I took it from. Yeah, I see. So that's the lug for the gearbox. Well, where it's supposed to go, where we fill it. Yeah. Okay. So you have to get a. So we just remove the top for that. Well, can you show me again? Right, so for this, I need some hose, obviously, to get down there because you can. I can't feel from there. You need to get a hose in there, feed it through. So, a garden hose works well with this as well. But yeah, just get that on there. Nice and tight. What's that noise? It's just someone walking past. Uh. Dog sniffing my leg. That's fucking tight, Josh. Sure, it's not, is it clock point? This is. That's how to. This ain't been done in ages, eh? Uh, I'm not sure, but it doesn't say if it's clockwise. It's very clockwise, it is. <laughs> no, nothing is simple. Sorry, I can't do it. Right. All you've got to do is drain all that fresh in. Oh, you've done it. Oh, wow. I was literally moving myself along the floor, putting that. That's how corroded on it was. If someone hasn't done that in donkeys. Go on then. Oh, the I hope, I hope sure the oh, brown. I just went on my hand. I wasn't expecting brown. Is it brown? I can't see the yeah. colour. Is it brownie white creamy colour on? It's like a light brown, like uh, hot chocolate. Jesus, that's all that's in there. Yeah. No wonder we have a problem. You thought you needed a backup container, but you didn't. <laughs> 2.7 litres is supposed to be in there. That's our, our old oil. Look, it looks like chocolate. Maybe thinking water's getting in there from the windshield. Common fault, it drips down off the windshield. It goes on top of the breather. On top of the breather and goes into the gearbox. So we need uh they say you need an extra 200 millimeter. Look at that's what the oil should look like. So fill this to 2000 and we put another 700 in. We can't fill it right to the top, can we? Where's 2000? Back there.
700 now. Yeah. Can you see 700? I'm holding it the wrong side. All right, I'll let you leave it around. So we've got 700 millimetres now to put in. The engine, this engine, I think, takes seven litres. God. I think. I think the air filter is very important to get a new air filter on, isn't it? Yeah, unfortunately, we don't have a new air filter to change the air filter over here. Back on. Just over 2,000 then millilitres, and you just had this water in there. God, it's horrible stuff. That's yeah. the worst oil I've ever seen on any, any even on narrow boats. so that is it um, as you can see we were pretty disappointed after that result after all the work we just put in two hours of stressful um, work of trying to get this bloody air filter out that was the hardest part um, just to find out that didn't work and I reckon that you know because we put loads of oil in it and it still wanted more you know but we didn't want to overfill it and I think that's our mistake so once we go back and do our full service, which will be soon, I will completely fill up that gearbox. Even if it does overfill a little bit, it's still... I need, I know that it's full then, and I reckon, hopefully, that will solve our fifth gear grind problem. If you have any other theories, please let us know in the comments, because I will be um, very glad to hear it. The engine's done about 88,000 miles. So it shouldn't really need a new gearbox, but I understand that sometimes gearboxes can go that early. Um, but it's been driven by a school, so I don't imagine the gearbox has been, you know, fresh that much. But I hope you all enjoyed, and I hope you maybe learned something. Please give us a like and subscribe for more videos on the Peugeot Boxer. Um, because there's lots more to come, like a full service soon. And I understand that not a lot of people have made videos on this particular van. So I'd like to fill that niche. Um, so give us a subscribe if you've got this van. Alright, see ya.